Hello again. <laughs> Hopefully someone can see me now. I am um, <laughs> having some technical difficulties, it looks like. So hopically that'll be the last of it. <laughs> Probably not, but I'm going to try my best. And we'll uh, we'll keep going. Oh no, the sound is gone. <laughs> oh, this is a nightmare. So I don't know if that's just for me or if that's for you also. Look at where that bat is. That's terrible. <laughs> I'm going to take a hit from the bat immediately. First thing when I unpause. Unless I do it very carefully. Let's see. Uh, even then, I don't think I can do it. I couldn't. Oh, no, there's still no sound. It's showing that there's sound, so it might just be for me that there's no sound. I can't tell. <laughs> if you're uh, if you're in chat and you can see the stream, let me know. Do you have do you have game audio? Because I can play in silence. That <laughs> that won't bother me too much, but I don't want to force you to watch in silence. thing about the, the the terrible thing is I don't know if I can fix it without killing the stream again. I mean, if I have to, I'll give it a go, but I should have avoided that axe. That was a bad move, picking that axe up. It's also a bad move, getting killed by the bone dragon. I shouldn't have done that either. Here we are. <laughs> All right, this is to throw away such a I hate to throw away such a good playthrough all right let me see if I can uh, let me see if I can fix the uh, audio here
Testing, testing. <laughs> so I brought the game. I got the game audio back, and then I killed my microphone. <laughs> I'm just a mess. Oh, I was doing so well. I was doing so well at this game. <laughs> Everything's falling apart on my stream. Anderson, hello. Good to see you. Good to see you again. I see you bought a karaoke machine that has a screen built in. It can display my GameCube games. Have it as a cool set piece in my room. That sounds awesome. That's a good idea. I used to have, um, I had a little, like, four-inch portable television at one point. And I was trying to figure out, I was trying to find a way to hook my, uh, to, to hook my retro game consoles into it. Because I thought it, that would be a fun novelty. Um, probably thinking along the, sort of the same lines as you. Um, but I could never make it work, unfortunately. send it in the discord right on please do yeah i'd like to check it out so what's our time situation looking like you know what uh i'm gonna i'm gonna reset this game i'm gonna i'm gonna tough it out i'm having i'm having real bad luck with castlevania well i'm having a mix of luck with castlevania tonight i'm having bad luck on one hand and good luck on the other hand <laughs> so i'm gonna i'm gonna hit reset and we'll uh we'll take it one more time from the top if uh If another calamity strikes, if another calamity strikes, I'm going to consider it divine intervention and abort Castlevania for the night. Mega Stack Cat. Hey, welcome to the stream. A friend told me about your stream, so I'm here for it. <laughs> hey, thanks for dropping by. Thanks for dropping in. It's been a really <laughs> it's been a really weird night so far. <laughs> but I I have a lot of weird I have a lot of weird nights, so <laughs> nothing to complain about. Um so I'm working on I'm working on Castlevania. I'm playing this game. I'm trying to get some practice in. Um, I, I'm running a timer while I play it, and I'm excited if I if I get a decent time. But that's not really the goal. I'm not much of a much of a speed runner or anything. Um, I'm getting practice in and, and playing it a lot because I want to get really good at it and eventually someday do a one credit clear. But that's uh, that's someday. That's way in the future. Way in the future. So we've had one successful run tonight, even though the game went incredibly glitchy. I was I stubbornly stuck with it and just powered through the glitches and made it to the end. And I had a really good second run going, but then my stream died. And we're still on very shaky territory. <laughs> Iterama, hey, thanks for dropping by. Great to have you here again as well. Starting to practice is progress, as all practice is. Very true, very true. You know, I just don't, I don't want to set people's expectations too high. <laughs>
So I, I run the timer mostly as a curiosity. Um, so far, my best time at beating the game is uh, 51 minutes. Which I just achieved, which I just achieved mere moments ago. Uh, what's the NES being output through composite? Yes. Yeah. So my uh, my signal chain, as it were, is a uh, is the the AV out from the NES into a uh, fourteen inch uh, CRT television, and then AV out from that into my uh, USB capture card. I'm a, I'm a pretty I'm a pretty low tech kind of guy. All of my equipment is very cheap and barely functional. <laughs> um, so long as you're having fun, you can chip away at improvement along the way. That's all I play games for is the fun of it. I'm not a, I'm not particularly competitive. No, I take pride in being skilled, at, somewhat skilled at a handful of games, but... And certain games are a lot more fun when you're better at them. Um... Uh, he linked me to your stream because you I play you play stuff on original hardware also. Excellent. Yeah, that's just the way I like to do it. It comes with a lot of pitfalls. <laughs> there are a lot of there are a lot of perils to uh, to using these antique consoles. But that's just a, that's just a more fun, more added value. <laughs> I was talking about earlier the game, you know, the game glitched out terribly, but that's all right because that's even more fun in, in some ways. Uh, seems like a pretty good PB to start. I think I played it at least twice as long and still didn't beat it. Uh, yeah, I've, be I've beaten it a, a, a fair few number of times. I couldn't tell you exactly. Somewhere between 5 and 10, probably. Um, probably closer to 10 um, that I've beaten this game. The first, uh, you know, the first several times were really, really tough. I mean, this this game is is always pretty tough, but getting down getting down below the one hour mark that's that's a a long time in the making. Um, oh, all right. I'm gonna have to pause for just a moment and catch up. Let's see. Uh, barely functional is the way to go. Yes. <laughs> yes, I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. Um, uh, for sure, some are fun to conquer for the first time, and some are fun to revisit and improve. Yeah. And especially games like the Castlevania games, I, I like to say about them, like, they, they're games that they're... They're easier the better you are at them. 
<laughs> which sounds like a dumb thing to say, but it's just, it's like the Castlevania is like one of those games that kicks, like it kicks you when you're down. Like uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts is the same way. The better you, the better you you play, the the easier the game is because it likes to punish you for playing badly. <laughs> um, uh, Meowgi, Meowgi TV, great to see you again, and thank you very much for the. Uh, Thank you very much for the resub. Three months. Greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for the support. Um, um, I have a card of Super Castlevania 4 that I call Super Glitchylvania because it just breaks down into graphical glitches slowly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that describes that describes a lot of my playthroughs of games. Um, Winter Toad, hey, hey again. Um, it was Maggi TV that, that linked you here. Well, thanks for that. Thanks for sharing my stream, uh, Maggi. Thank you very much. Um, I hear that. I know the, the hours that go into a PB like that. Um, I've been manually breathing for a long time and I can't stop. Uh, for my body to do so on its own. It's one of those uh, like negative feedback loops, right? If you tr if you try to stop manually breathing, then you can, that like the harder you try, the more difficult it is. Um, Super G and G makes you work to keep the gold armor just to get by. Exactly. So yesterday, I think it was yesterday, right? Yeah, uh, just yesterday, I finally, I finally completed a, uh, a deathless run of Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I've been, I've been working on, I've been working on that for weeks, and I finally got it last night. Oh no! Oh no! I got killed by the spikes. Oh, that never happens. <laughs> and yet it just did. No, I'm not going back for that heart. So now, now I guess the only thing left to do is to do a no damage run of Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I shudder at the thought of it. Um, may do a no armor run at some point. I think that would be a lot of fun. I mean, that's... Uh, That's another, that's another, like, really tough challenge. But I do think it would be very rewarding to pull off. There's so many parts of that game. There's so many parts of Super Cools and Ghosts, though. Like, if I, like, if I get there without armor, I just want to cry. <laughs> Like the auto scroller where you're on the where you're on like the piece of cherry pie floating through the land of blueberries. <laughs> when I get there without armor, my heart sinks every time. It's so it's so rough. Oh, Henny Blank. Um sorry it took me so long to uh to say thank you, but thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the stream, and, th and thanks again. I think you're actually, uh, uh, Henny, I think you're actually my 200th follower, so thank you for that.
It's nice to nice to hit another little little milestone. You're eventually going to get there. I've watched you. I've watched you play the game a lot. I believe you will. Just keep going. I have a lot. Of, I have a lot of. I'm having a lot of trouble with the uh, with the ladders. For whatever reason, I've just I keep wanting to use my my sub weapon when I'm too close to a ladder, and then bad things happen to me. Oh, a lot of bad things are happening to me. In kind of a rough shape here. Um, I can't quite avoid damage, so I've been doing other challenges like X weapon only. The uh, the only um, sort of mono weapon challenge that I've that I've worked on was the uh, fire only. I made it through. I've made it through one loop of fire only, but I've never gone the distance for uh, for both loops. It's so it's so hard. I the uh, the uh, the red the red guy and green guy at the end of the game fighting them with the fighting them with a the torch is just a terrible time. <laughs> and all the all the red devils. Oh. Okay, we're going to try to cheese these guys, just like last time. We're just going to stand up here and uh, throw holy water at them. That's the way to do it. Um, you're just doing the one loop mono weapons. I mean, it makes sense. Um... I don't really find I don't really find that the second loop is very different from the first loop and you can't complete the second loop without the bracelet anyway so it really makes sense to just do one loop if you're doing a mono weapon um I've done bow only, lance only, mono weapon runs. The bow, the bow only run would scare me, um, unless I was gonna try and do it with no armor upgrades, because the upgraded bow, the upgraded bow has caused me so much misery. <laughs> I don't trust it. The ho the homing bolts are treacherous. They betray me when I need them most.
I compare the I compare the upgraded bow to the uh, to uh, the the one ring of Sauron because it it will betray its owner. Uh, second loop with the bracelet only. The bracelet's not a terrible weapon. Um, so, like, I don't think that a bracelet-only run is as awful as it, like, sounds at first. Except, except that you forfeit your magic. We're in, we're in a really, we're in a, kind of a rough situation here. <laughs> He's still alive. He's still alive. And I'm not. Um, oftentimes when I finish a mono weapon run, I'll do a victory loop with the bracelet only. Right on. I think that's a good way to do it. Opinion on Sonic games. I was playing Sonic 3 on the... Uh, aforementioned karaoke machine so i'm uh i was a nintendo kid growing up i'm really uh my genesis knowledge is really spotty i've been working on it though um so i've only played sonic um i played i've played and beaten sonic 1 and sonic 2 um and they're pretty good times uh, like I, I liked them a lot and i'm actually playing sonic 3 tomorrow night For the first time. Um, I've only uh, I've only done playthroughs where I just beat the game, though. I haven't done I haven't been able to do playthroughs where I get all the chaos emeralds. Um, I'm gonna try to do that one day. So. While most of while my opinions on a while my opinions on the Sonic series are, are all like very sort of new and not fully formed, I do enjoy them enough that I want to do that I want to do playthroughs where I where I manage to get the Chaos Emeralds. So I, I like them at least that much. That's going to be a long way off, though, because those bonus games, those bonus games are really, really hard. Oh, Frankenstein, why didn't you come closer to me? Now I'm in a bad spot. <laughs> It's a fun tradition. Um, I can mostly prevent homing bow issues by playing the throws. Base bow is for sure better, though. There, I mean, yeah. Especially if you if you hold off with the uh, with the bow until like you're really up close to an enemy, you can sort of mitigate its treachery somewhat, but. I've just, I've just been hurt too many times by the bow. I don't know that the bow and I can properly reconcile. <laughs> I don't think he's weak in the body. I think he's only weak in the head. This Frankenstein. I don't have a good. I don't have really have a good strategy for dealing with Frankenstein. It's mostly just stand my ground and wail on him, which, as you may have noticed, doesn't usually work. <laughs> uh, that part always gives me trouble. It's like you have to carry the holy water all the way through without dying. You 
yeah, I, I would much prefer to have the, the holy water when I make it to, to Frankenstein. Um, death is the real big issue for me, though. I really need to have holy water to beat death. I got really lucky there. Really lucky. So here's holy water. Let's see if I can keep it. Ah, uh, don't drop a bone on me. No! What a dirty move. What a dirty move, retreating off the edge of the stage and then coming back. If you retreat off the edge of the stage, you should at least have the decency to despawn yourself. This is, this is, this is going poorly. Oh. All right, if I just hold on, there is a there is a meat up ahead. It's not that far away. It does have a, a couple of tricky enemies on the way to it, though. Namely, these flea guys. Uh, avoid that. <gasps> that was close. I saw I saw my life flash before my eyes. Hey, but we got there. Hey Derek, welcome back to you as well. What happened? It's just uh, I've got a I've got a pretty weak internet connection, you know. Sometimes sometimes it just kind of breaks down. But I'm glad you found me again. Uh, hey, jump and throw, jump and throw. Patience. Nice. I love it. I love it when the holy water takes the guy out with one with one attack. Let's see. Um, I know the bow is generally disliked too. I could make an argument as to why it's the best weapon, but that's for my gameplay style. The, arguing that the bow... So I, I would argue... I would agree with you that the bow is a decent weapon. As much as I will, I will cry about the upgraded bow, um, the regular bow is, is fine. Um, I would agree with you there, but the best weapon is a is a stance I don't know that I would want to try and defend. <laughs> okay, we've got a we're in a pretty good position here. Let's see if we can Take advantage of it. See you later, Death. Yeah. I was talking and then froze and then gone. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> uh, what headphones you got on? Um, I think they're a pair of Philips. Yeah, they're made by Philips. I bought them at a at a thrift store. I don't really know anything about them. Um, I 
they they do the job. They've got a nice like robust uh, cable, so I'm not worried about like sort of messing up the wire. Uh, and uh, they've got great big they've got great big cups that fit all the way over my big ears. That's like that's the best thing about them. Thrift store headphones, exactly. I got I got really lucky with them. They were a really good find. I mean, you know, like if you're a real if you're a real audiophile, they they might be disappointing to you, but for me, a guy who's like who loves withered technology, they're they're great. They're just they're just perfect. They do exactly what I need them to do. I don't know how I've wound up in the situation of fighting this guy twice. <laughs> but normally I would just run past him. I don't know what to, I don't know what to make of of this. Okay. Let's see. This guy is <laughs> If you couldn't if you couldn't tell. If you couldn't tell. I'm not very well. I'm not very well practiced at this stage. Woo. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, they look like Sony MDR V6, but it didn't look quite right. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely I'm definitely not the not the guy that can identify like types of headphones at a at a glance. This is this is agonizing. <laughs> uh, Castlevania show is great. Uh, I'm on season four now. I didn't know they were up to four seasons. My sister found a Star Wars Monopoly at Goodwill for 25 bucks. Yeah, I'm just I'm just doing this. I'm doing everything wrong. Uh We'll get through here though. And this is how we're going to do it. Oh no. I don't actually have enough hearts to use the stopwatch. <laughs> All my, all my big talk. It's the last season. Yeah, I've heard good things uh, about it from a, from a couple people, but just not really gotten around to it myself. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness I didn't go over the edge at that time, at least. All right. Oh, it was a, it took some doing, but we finally made it to a door. Let's hope we don't game over. <laughs> um, rat jam. <laughs> Um, they're doing a follow-up show, which will take place years later. That magic pixel holding it all together. I'm clinging, clinging to the edge of the platform with the, the tip of my toe. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, I couldn't, I couldn't endure the shower of bones. 
Uh. Oh, come on, please, please, let's make it through here. Let's make it through. I don't want to have to get past those bats again. What? That was weird. I did. I swear I didn't pause the game. It paused itself. What? What is going on? I've got a ghost in my in my game. I'm playing on an NES controller. It's it would be pretty it would be pretty hard to accidentally hit the start button. The buttons are not exactly, you know, not exactly all close together. Is there anything in, in that wall? I don't think there is. In fact, I think if I go all the way up to the wall, then I get punished with flea men. And speaking of flea men, here they come. Run, run, don't get knocked off the stairs. Oh, I wanted that power up. No, now we gotta go all the way back to the start. <laughs> It's nice the seasons are not super long. Ten episodes is the longest. Um, I go to my friend's house and they lived right next to a radio tower. The tower would interfere with NES and Super Nintendo controllers. Made playing games a mess. I would imagine so. Usually, the, typically the only interference I have to deal with is uh, radio interference. Um, a lot of my, uh, a lot of my consoles only have RF out. The Genesis, the Atari, the top loading NES, they're all, uh, RF only and... Picture quality is uh can be quite poor. Ah, oh, magic pixel didn't save me that time. This is my last life, so, like, the thing is, even if I make it to the checkpoint, I'm probably going to lose it, but. So you'd think that the, uh. You'd think that the wise thing to do would have been to just throw myself off the cliff to go ahead and get the continue and the extra lives, but I just, I can't, in, I can't engage in that kind of uh, defeatist behavior. Sparrow, hey, great to see you again, Sparrow. Welcome to the stream. Sorry I've been gone for a bit, missed you. I missed you too, my friend. Glad to see you again, and thanks for, uh, thank you for the pistachios. I appreciate the, the classy entrance.
they're a good time. Thank you so much. Oh, I've got a lot going on. And Derek, <laughs> thank you for the spicy pepper, Derek. And Colossus. Hey, Colossus, welcome to the stream and thank you for the follow. Greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. I appreciate the classy purple shirt. Thanks. I've uh, I've broken my uh, I've broken my 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 blue button down tradition. I've been wearing t-shirts. I've been wearing t-shirts for like a couple weeks now. I moved uh, I moved my 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 desk. I I cut all my hair off. I changed my clothes. I'm, I'm a completely different person. So these uh this a uh, chunk of pepper. This is a serrano pepper. It's not the hottest in the world, but the it, it's hot enough to to give me a little bit of agony. And sometimes sometimes the people around here decide that that's what I need. <laughs> so, we're going to eat one now. <clears throat> we're all serrano is pretty hot. Some of them have thrown me for a loop. So we'll let's see how it goes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, I could tell just from chewing it. Oh my goodness, I could tell just from chewing it it was going to be a nightmare. <laughs> okay. Well. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't say anything else but oh my goodness. It's... <laughs> oh. My tongue my tongue is on fire and my stomach is feels so warm. It's one of those that just burns all the way down and there's like a knot, there's like a knot of fire in my stomach. Oh man. Is this a garlic stream? <laughs> I could probably use some garlic. Dracula Dracula is getting the better of me at the moment. I'm having I'm having a real hard time making my way through his castle. All right, and Miyagi, we'll do it. I'll find that. Let me find that Luigi icon for you. We'll get changed up. Oh, man. I'm glad I didn't get hiccups, but I think I would almost rather have hiccups than this particular brand of burning that I've got going on. Oh, my poor, my poor stomach. It's like a it's like a punch in the gut. All right, there we go. We got Luigi looking handsome as ever up there in the top left. Oh man. Okay. I think I'm I think I'm recovered enough to continue. What? I don't I don't I don't think I get the joke, uh Meowkey. 
I don't know what Mank Donald's is. Is Quake a retro game? Um, a good question. Uh, probably. Uh, so for me, I classify anything that came out before the year 2000, uh, I would say, can safely be considered retro. Um, for me, retro would be games that are primarily sprite-based or, or very early polygonal. Um, after the year 2000, I feel like we're not really in retro territory anymore. I know a lot of people want to have a sliding scale for retro, and I want to say, I mean, because there, there are people who are like, oh, PS5 is out, that means PS4 is retro now, and I'm like, eh, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. As I, but I use the term like I would I I would apply the term retro though like in a way like you would to like an artistic time period or something. It's not really it's not really to me a matter of like how many years have passed. It's a matter of like an uh, being of a particular era. So, you know, like, in the year 4,000, like, it doesn't matter how many years pass, pass uh, uh, in the year 4,000, Justin Bieber is not going to be a Baroque composer just because he's closer to that era than we are now. Like, it's, it's not like, it, it, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> Stephen King is not going to be an Elizabethan author 4,000 years from now. Ah... Uh. Includes all Nintendo 64 and PS1, but excludes pretty much all of the disc era. Yeah, I would say that. Um, and I would say that because the sort of early... I don't know, there's... I see a certain, I see a certain co continuity between uh, cartridge-based console games and the early disc-based con cartridge game... Uh, sorry, the early disc-based console games, I would say, still fall into that category because the philosophy behind their game design is this is the same as what lie behind uh, cartridge games of the time. They're all... They're all of a similar type. What's the best Nintendo console? Oh, man. I mean, it depends. Uh, it would depend on what your criteria are. What your criteria is.
I think the NES is what I like the best. I'm really fond. I'm really fond of, of NES, um, Super NES, and uh, Nintendo 64. I think the NES is probably my favorite. But depending on the way you want to approach, like, what's best, you could argue the GameCube is Nintendo's best console, because that was a, one of the rare occasions where Nintendo, like, didn't rely on outdated hardware, but was actually trying to make something, like, really current technology-wise. Um, you could argue the Switch is their best console, because it's the newest. <laughs> like... You could argue the Wii is their best console because everyone and their grandma bought a Wii. I think there are more Wiis on the planet than there are than there are human beings, right? Oh, thank goodness we finally made it. We finally made it out of the woods. Oh my goodness, we finally made it to Dracula. Um, man, let me, let me pause and, and catch up here. Um, what's the rubric here? Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Like there's a, you can argue in different ways to, to come to a conclusion of what's the best. But I think, uh, I think the, the NES does it for me. I think it's my favorite. I, I love the simplicity and sort of straightforwardness of it. Um, it's all before online gaming besides PC, which changed things a lot for consoles. Uh, what's retro? I think that's uh, a good point. Uh, Derek says the SNES all day. Miyagi agrees. SNES sits the spot for me. It was my first ever video game console, so I'm biased. Part of me wants to say the Wii just because it has a ton of the classic games and GameCube support. If you have a Wii, uh, you have large access, that's true, to tons of games. Um, Wii was by far the most innovative. The Switch is an improvement on the formula, though, in your opinion. Yeah. Um, you like the, you say that the SNES and the Wii are the best. Yeah, because that's another thing. Like, do you. If you so in the argument for the Wii, like it depends. Like if you think that uh, if you think the virtual console so counts, then you have the Wii's got access to a lot of games.
I'm not very good at fighting this guy, as you could probably see. Uh... I understand from, like, a theoretical perspective that he's supposed to be very easy because you just stun lock him with the holy water, <laughs> but I mess it up frequently. Oh man, speaking of messing it up, come on, let's get him. <laughs> yes. All right, we did it. We did it, and the game wasn't all glitched out this time. We could actually see what we were doing. <laughs> and not bad. 52 minutes. I'll take it. I'll take it. That and then because you know that includes uh, that includes a lot of time of me sitting around, eating a pepper and reading the chat. So I'm happy with that. That was that was probably faster than my other run. But again. Again, I'm not really the time the time isn't really a huge concern for me. It's nice to it's nice to see a fast time. <laughs> I'm still going to be happy about it. Um but it's it's not it's not the the most important thing to me. I just want to practice up. I want to get good at the game. I want to be able to beat it. My goal, my goal is a one credit clear someday. As <laughs> as you could see from all the game overs I got on the on the last stage a one credit clear is is a ways off but but we'll get there i have fun playing it so that's also kind of what it's all about i think because the the one credit clear is a uh, it gives me an excuse to grind this game a whole lot <laughs> um let's see are we counting handhelds? I was thinking about that, because I was going to say, like, you could make a good argument for the best console being uh, the Game Boy, um, especially if you consider the Game Boy and the Game Boy Color to be the same thing. Um, best handheld portable console is the Virtual Boy. Don't add me. <laughs> I don't think you have to worry about that because no one's no one's going to take that claim seriously. Game and Watch had Water World best game ever made. Um, I always love Dracula, little goblin face in second face. I think they call him the Cookie Monster, um, is what speedrunners call him. GBA is the best handheld. Yeah, and if you if you count the GBA as the same thing as the. Uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Color, then it it definitely is a, is a strong contender. In sixty four, I honestly don't think that that's great. Looking back at it, I like the Nintendo sixty four. Game Boy is a good line. Game Boy Advance, DS is probably the best handheld because it could run Game Boys as well. Yeah, and then but also you know like the 3ds, the 3ds couldn't uh, they couldn't play old cartridges, but it had a it had an okay virtual console. You know, not, it was nothing like the Wii's, but I had a lot of I had a lot of good games downloaded on my 3ds. You think the Nintendo six? You think the Nintendo's first party lineup for the Nintendo sixty four was weak? Really? I mean, Rare made made the best games for Nintendo sixty four, but there were a lot of good Nintendo sixty four games, uh, first party games. Um, you know, Mario sixty four is great. Paper Mario is great. You got two two awesome Zelda games. Um, you got Star Fox 64, you got a good Mario Kart. Um, I don't know about that. I think the first party, I think the first party on Nintendo 64 was one of its strongest points. Am 
might have to uh, might have to agree to disagree on that one. All right, my friends, this is going to wrap up. Uh, this is going to wrap up Castlevania. <laughs> I did uh, did what two and a two and a quarter playthroughs of it. I've been having a lot of fun with it, but I am going to move on. We're going to switch over to uh, we're going to switch over to Super Metroid. Um, I don't need to take a BRB or anything, but I, I do need to step away from the computer for just a few seconds to get everything switched over. So I will see you again very, very shortly, my friends.